Good morning, everybody, and welcome today to today's episode of The Unlock Show. I'm Tracy Wilson, and I'm going to be your host for the next 30 minutes. In today's episode, we're going to be covering off how to transform your life and set yourself free using the one thing that only you have. So if you want to do that, if you want to transform your life and you want to be able to overcome any negativity, any bad feelings, anything like that in your life, then today's episode is going to be perfect for you. Hang around because the things that I'm going to be sharing with you today are the things that I've done and that I've learned that have really made a massive difference in my life. So I'm going to share with you how I do it um, and the steps kind of that you need to take. So hang about and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you. But before we get into all of that, as per normal, I want to make sure that you guys can hear me, that you can see me and all that good stuff. And just above me in the description uh, section, you should also see that it says streaming through StreamYard. So can you please just make sure that you click that button so that I can see who's joining me today. I can actually see your lovely faces and uh, I will be able to uh, communicate with you through the chat. So whether you're watching on YouTube, you're on uh, a Facebook page or Instagram or wherever it is in, uh, you're watching right now, just make sure that you click that so I know that you are here and that, uh, that you are participating in today's session. Like always, these are designed to be interactive. So of course, I'm going to be talking a lot uh, and I talk really fast. If you haven't uh, already joined in with some of the other sessions, you'll get to know that that's what I that that's what I do. Talk fast. So I'm going to try and jam pack as much as we can into today's session to really help you uh, overcome the things in your life and enable you to really move forward with some level of uh, confidence and and determination to know exactly where you're going in life and how you can overcome any negative obstacles should they arise. So let's kick this off. I want to start this off by um, most of you, unless you've been living under a rock, uh, will have heard of Albert Einstein. So I want to start with um, with a quote that Albert Einstein actually uh came up with and he said he talked about problems and as you know that he was a massive mathematician and problem solver and he says that a problem can never be solved at the level in which it was created so I want you to hold that because that is going to be very um, uh, you know something that you need to understand as we move through today's session because what we're going to get you to do is to start thinking very, very differently. And if you think about that uh, that quote from Albert Einstein where he says that a problem can never be solved at the level in which it was created. So if you think about any problem that you have in your life, any problem whatsoever, often what we try to do is we try to solve that problem with the same level of thinking in which we created that problem. And unfortunately, you can't do that. It just doesn't happen. What you need to do is you need to raise the level of your thinking. You need to raise the level of your thinking and where you are, where you are uh, resolving the problem at to get a to get a better outcome. So I want you to think about this. So right now, if you were standing, so right now in my uh, apartment, I live 26 stories up. But if I went downstairs to the ground floor and I went out, uh, I went out to the to the front door and I started looking around and I looked around, I would only be able to see the things that are in my direct view. There's lots of buildings around. I would be able to see the building across the road, the coffee shop just down the road there, the park there. That's all I would see. But what happens when I come up to my apartment and I'm on the 26th floor and I start looking out the windows, what can I start to see now? Well, I can see much, much further. I can see from my apartment in in uh Southport on the Gold Coast, all the way down the coast to Surface Paradise and beyond. I can see right up into the hinterland out my back window and I can see right the way down the coast. So that level of, you know, I want to use that as a bit of an example because when you raise the level of your thinking, it enables you to see things from a completely different perspective. It enables you to really step up and see things from a bird's eye view, which enables you to then think through things more I suppose, str strategically and get more of a feel for what's actually going on. So that's the first thing that we want to we want to uh, we want to make sure that we're doing is we're actually raising the level of 
uh, thinking that we have and using our, our uh, brains to be able to think at that level so that we can then get a better perspective, move through things with, uh, with, a, with a much better idea of the lay of the land and create the, the resolution at a much higher level. So that's the first thing. The second thing I want you to, to think about is the number of thoughts that we have in any given day. And I think if you go and do some research, you'll find that it's something like 50 to 60,000 thoughts we have in any one day. That is a lot of thoughts. So you think every minute of every day, your little mind is ticking and we're having these thoughts. And a lot of them are you know, a lot of them are unconscious. They're unconscious thoughts that we're having about, you know, I'm hot, I'm cold, I'm, you know, should I turn the heater on? Should I put some slippers on? Should I adjust my mic? All of these things are coming at us thick and fast. And we need to determine which ones of these that we actually bring to our forefront and, and uh, you know, do something with from a conscious level. Often when we bring our, the things to our conscious forefront, often those thoughts that we have are negative. Most of the thoughts that we have, even though there are 50 and 60,000 of them that we have per day, a great majority of them are, a, are actually negative thoughts. So the stuff that I want to talk about today is like, how do you overcome that? How do you recognize those? And what the heck do you do about it to, to you know, just start transforming your life and setting yourself free? And like I said, when I learned this from one of my mentors, I started implementing it into my life. I learned it like, learned it seven o'clock in the morning. I started implementing it that day and I was like, holy crap this thing works like it it is so powerful and when you get to understand what i'm talking about and you start implementing by the end of this today's session you start implementing it into your life it will absolutely be transformational for you this today shows a little bit different so normally i've been doing a lot of business related stuff but often in business um our thoughts and the way in which we operate are the difference between us being successful and not being successful. And our success actually starts here in our own noggins. And it starts at the level of thought. So again, I'm going to, I just want to um, share with you, uh, you, you guys will, re will know this really, really well. It's a quote from Gandhi. And Gandhi said something like, your beliefs become your thoughts. Your thoughts become your words. Your words become your actions your actions become your habits, your habits become your values, and your values become your destiny. Now, I agree with that, um, but I'm going to add something else to it. And I think, um, you know, in, in this context, uh, there's something fundamental that's missing in this. And the way that I would actually put, uh, put this quote or reword this quote would be, your beliefs become your thoughts, your thoughts become your feelings. Your feelings become your words, your words become your actions, your actions become your habits, and your habits become your values, your values become your destiny. Now, why have I added in their feelings? Well, if you think about it, when you have a, a thought, what actually happens? That thought manifests itself then into the way in which you feel. And where, where I um, talked about this, this particular topic, so the thing I'm going to unlock for you today, the thing that is, it, it's only you, you are the only person who has the ability to be able to change this. No mentor, no, even me today with the stuff that I'm teaching you, I will teach it to you, but at the end of the day, you are the person that actually needs to go away and implement this stuff. And it starts with your thoughts. Your thoughts are the things at like that highest level to, to start the, the, uh, you know, the, the snowball process. So if we can take hold of our thoughts and we can start um, you know, controlling our thoughts rather than our thoughts controlling us, all of a sudden, you are going to have a pathway and a key to be able to start fundamentally changing all the things in your life. So I want to ask you this question. How many of you guys have ever been like mad, like hopping mad or really, really sad or really, really happy? Can you guys just chat to me in the chat? Just let me know in the chat box. Have you ever felt any one of those? Have you ever said, I'm so mad. I am so happy. I'm I'm so really, really sad. 
I'm just gonna have a look at this. Just looking at the uh, the comments for you guys. So, what do we got here? It has been a court. I'm just checking these. All right. So, what do we got? That's the truth of it. Um, it has to be caught and not taught. You have to be willing to call yourself out. Absolutely. Um, and Robin here is saying all of the above. Okay. And what do we got here? Um, yep, understanding your thoughts, your speech, both inner and outer, are then the outward outward manifestations of our actions. Absolutely. So when you think about, um, you know, lots of people will say, I'm mad. But the reality is we are never, ever mad. We are never, ever happy. We are never, ever sad. Why? Because none of us can actually be that. We can feel that, and we, we but we can't be that. What we can be is we are human beings and you can feel that way and when you you understand that fundamental change is like you know I'm not mad I just feel mad you then have the power to be able to do something about it and when you when you think back to like well what causes that feeling and you go back to that uh, you know you go back to the quote that I've just said from Gandhi and made that fundamental shift well, the thing that changes the way in which you feel is changing your thoughts. So what do you do when you are finding yourself in a space of, you know, negative thought or you are, um, you know, you're not feeling so great? Well, I've got a step step by step process. It's like a five step process that I'm going to share with you today that is going to help you to like recognize that thought and actually do something about it. So the thing I want you guys to understand too is that, you know, we are where our attention is. So often when we've, when you've got a negative thought happening, and this happens often when people like are worrying. So you, you may or may not have been called a worry wart. So you often have, you know, these worrying thoughts and so you'll wake up in the morning and you'll be worrying about something, worrying about money, worrying about, you know, what are my kids doing, worrying about what my partner's doing, whatever the case may be, you get into that, uh, that pattern of worry and then what most people then will do is they continue to worry 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 throughout the day and then the next day they wake up and they start that whole pattern again they get up they get out of their bit out of bed and they start that process of worry 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 and this goes on for days and days and days until they just feel like I'm now I'm depressed now I've gone down this terrible spiral of I can't get myself out of and my circumstances around me have been created as such uh, that have manif manifested because of the thoughts that I've been having. So um, Karen's saying here, absolutely. She's saying, let me just grab it. Let me get my little mouse over there. Oh, where have you gone? Here we go. She's saying that what you focus on grows. That is so true. When you focus on something, it, it, you know, it's like that whole saying of you make a mountain out of a molehill. You know, when you, you have something small and you just keep focusing on it and focusing on it and focusing on it, it gets bigger and bigger. And an example of that would be what do you do when, you know, you've got you want to start a fire? What do you do? Well, you can get yourself a magnifying glass and you focus on something and you get the sunlight to go through that magnifying glass and you magnify it and you hold it there as long as you can until it catches light. And when you do that, when you continue to focus on something for such a long time, what happens? Well, you start a massive blaze and that can either be a really good thing because you're focusing on something really positive or it can be the flip side of that, which could be, you know, you're focusing on it so much that you now blow the whole thing out of proportion. The other thing that you want to realize is that you are not your thoughts. You are not your thoughts. Okay, so you might think, what the heck are you talking about, Trace? I'm not my thoughts. No, you're not your thoughts. You are the thinker of your thoughts. And when you realize that you are just the thinker of your thoughts, again, that gives you the power back. That enables you to take the power back to now realize that you are just the thinker of your thoughts. So what can you do? Well, you can change your actual thoughts. You don't have to stay in that same spot thinking that over and over and over again. You can simply go back and go, do you know what? I recognize that this is not a good thought. Now I can shift my attention to something else and start focusing your attention there. Often what people will, um, you know, hope for is happiness. 
And we hope that, you know, I'll be happy one day when I have, when I have this and when I have that. But if you can actually, you know, you change our thought process on the inside and even happiness lies within us. It sits inside our own head. Nobody else can make us happy because we, as we've now learned that we are the thinker of our thoughts, we have the opportunity to change our thoughts. Our thoughts then create our feelings that we have. And when we create the feeling, well, that feeling of happiness is like right there. You can change your life in an instant to become a happy person. It just beca- it comes down to you ha- uh, choosing to be happy and choosing to choose your thoughts rather than having your thoughts choose and and navigate you you navigate them so i'm just going to uh going to check these uh i'm not sure if i say your name right i apologize if i don't but risa um thank you for being here today let me just see what you've got so risa saying we make things up in our minds and we can't afford um to waste we can't afford to waste that time really interesting that you say that too risa because Often, if you think about it, a thought is just a fleeting, it's like one moment in time. It's a fleeting thing. You generally don't sit on a thought for years and months or, you know, decades. You just don't. So when you realize that you have the opportunity to change that thought in an instant, you can shift your attention to something completely different. And then all of a sudden, you're on a completely different trajectory of your life. This process, when you learn it, will help you to overcome any situation, transform your life and set you up for real success um, in every aspect of your life. I've used this when I get to it, I walk through the five things. When I, when I started to understand and I learned this process, it's changed everything for me. Um, and that's why I felt so strongly and wanted to share it with you guys. When I learned it from my mentor, his name is Jim Fortin, and you can go and check out uh, his podcast. Um, he, he talks a lot about this sort of stuff, and I learned this formula from him. I've changed it slightly to, to adapt it for me, um, but it works, and it has repaired relationships. It has um, improved my own level of, like, think you know thinking um, I think about things very differently I um, even when we go into situations where you'd like you, you know you can go down a path of judging people and we, I was in the car the other day with my husband and um, my son had been talking about um, a few different things and anyway we got onto this conversation and I was saying to him yeah but if you look at it from this perspective maybe this is why that happens often we put cast our own um, I suppose, veil over something, expecting it to be one particular way because that's the way that we do it, when in fact, our way is not necessarily always the right way. So thinking about things from this different perspective, raising your level of thought enables you then to think things through at a completely completely different level with much better options for your outcomes. So I'm just going to have a look at this. What have we got going on here? Wow, massive comments. So focus and intention, create manifestation. When it's negative or positive, you can resolve an issue um, and then choose to direct your thought process, move forward and change direction really quickly. Uh, be present and understand uh, where you are in the moment. Absolutely, Donald. That's, um, that is so true. We have that power. And when we can become present and we pay attention to what it is that we're doing. So when we're here and I'm doing a show with you, I'm here. I'm doing a show with you. I'm being present. I'm enjoying this process. I am happy in the process. So if you can, everything that you do, be very deliberate about it. So I'm going to um, jump to what are the five uh, five key things that I do on a daily basis that really help me to be in alignment, allow me to be in my flow and in my zone of genius and have, have literally enabled me to change my life so that when I have the negative thought or when I'm triggered by somebody, I can instantly go into this, you know, move my move my attention process and it will instantly help me to uh, to get back on track. So here's what I do. 
like I said, you are where your attention is. So the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning, and I, I use this thing called the Phoenix Planner, and I'll go through this with you guys at another time, but I found this to be super useful. Um, and I, I set out my day, and I start my day with like an intention. What do I intend to do today? And it could be anything. It could be like, I today I choose to be happy. Today, I'm choosing to be productive. Today, I'm choosing to be present. Whatever it is for you, you're like moving through the day. You're starting your day with an intention. This is what I intend to do today. I intend to be the best leader that I can. I intend to show up on the show and give my all. I intend to, you know, so you're choosing that. You're making that choice. That step number one is the intention. The second thing that you want to make sure you do is you want to be aware of your thoughts. So just being aware of them, not every second of the day, but particularly when something negative comes in. Like, why am I thinking that? Do I really need to be thinking that? Do I just need to dismiss that that thought? It is of no value to me. Moving on. You know, we're using that stop. I'm going to move on. And I'm thinking about how do I... What can I focus on now that is a much better thought, a happier thought, a, a thought that is in line with my intention for the day that will help me snap out of that bad thought or that negative thought and ride in to a positive thought? I can guarantee you when you just do those two things, it is going to have a profound effect on you and your life, just those two things alone. Right, the next thing you're going to do is you are going to move your attention. So like I said before, you are where your attention is. I'm just going to come back over to your comments because I'm seeing lots of them. Hi, few. So if you say, if you chant here and saying, people need to tune into how they are feeling and acknowledge those feelings, then this will help them th um, help them through your thought process. Absolutely. Um, often, you know, we don't acknowledge that. We don't acknowledge the thoughts that we're having. And when we do, it's that it's, it's super powerful because that instantly you change your thought, you change how you feel, which then is going to change, have a ripple effect in everything else that you do in the day. Okay, so I talked about moving your attention. So you're going to think about, I'm going to move my attention to something else. What is it that I enjoy? What do I love? Take me to, you've seen this on movies, take me to my happy place. Where is that? Move your attention. Um, that's going to help you, you know, snap out of things really quickly. The next thing that you want to do is you want to be very deliberate with your actions. So you want to move swiftly. You want to uh, be deliberate, deliberate with what you're doing. Be very conscious of what you're doing and go do it. Um, don't sit and you know dwell and keep sitting in your thoughts. You want to move from that real fast and uh, you know get into uh, get into some form of action, taking action on things. And the last thing, this is the five steps, is gratitude. So ex exercising gratitude each day. Just stop and have a moment to yourself to think about what are you grateful for? What are the things in your life that you are super grateful for? I know through this, um, you know, through this COVID-19 situation, it's it's easy for us to kind of go down that spiral of, wow, man, we're in lockdown. You know, I can't get out of my house. I can't do this. I can't do that. When you switch that around and you think, man, during this time, what are all the great things that have happened to you? You know, what are, you've get to, got to spend more time with your partner. You know, my husband being able to work at home, he sits right next to me um, during the day now and works here. So we get to spend a lot more time together. Um, you know, there's so many things that cooking more at home. Um, having wholesome whole you know probably not so wholesome because I, I love I love butter and I like to cook so you know people would say that um, my cooking is not the the uh, you know you wouldn't come here if you want to get skinny let's just put it that way so you know but we can do those sorts of we can do those sorts of things um, more frequently so it is just switching our attention and thinking about the things that we are grateful for being able to breathe being able to you know have a hairbrush to brush your hair being able to have technology to speak to to all of you all of those the smallest of thing can be the biggest of thing in your life in that moment when you can exercise gratitude so let me just run through those five things really quickly again for you like I said they've been a game changer for me part of this is like we yeah right it's just saying we don't have time for negative negativity no there is no time for that um 
and you reminded me so last night so part of this whole COVID-19 lockdown thing we started a um a Tuesday uh, a Tuesday evening catch up with all of my family when I say all of my family I mean all of them like 100 about 100 of us online every single week we've started this little tradition and my mum was on last night and she was she said I want to speak um and she started giving a bit of a rundown on her life story um in terms of what she had done for for a job and she she was like, you know, I don't have time for negativity. I, I look back at my life and I'm really proud and happy of all the things that I did. Um, and I think that's a really nice way to to move, you know, to move through life as being, as being um, you know, being grateful for what you've done, being very deliberate with what you what you want in life. And if you don't have it right now, don't worry. You are, this is not the end. You are not at the finish line yet. The finish line is, you know, hopefully somewhere way down the line and you have time to do what you need to do. But it comes down to, hey, Siobhan, um, great to have you here. Um, so, you know, making sure that you have that and set your intention in the morning. Today, I choose to be blah. Being aware of your thoughts. So when a negative thought comes in, acknowledging that dismissing it don't need that thought today moving on and then uh then moving your attention so moving your attention to something else something that is you know that you are striving to do something that is really great in your life i'm about to start my new business i'm about to create my new website whatever it is you have the ability to choose the new thoughts and the new feelings that you have be very deliberate with your actions. So not wishy-washy. You have to make a choice. You know, it's like getting to a crossroad and going, well, which direction should I go? I can stay right where I am or go down this negative path or I can I can change my thoughts. I can cha move my attention and I can go this direction. So just be very deliberate with your actions and then exercise gratitude on a daily basis. If you adopt those five things, I would love to hear from you guys um, when you – you know, if you're going to adopt these, do it over the next five days. Come back into the group and let me know what a difference, if anything, these have made to your life. And I, I, for me, I guarantee that they will work. You just have to work at it. You've got to be conscious of it. Like always, I'm going to put these five things into a document for you. You'll be able to download them inside of the Success Secrets for Business, Family and Life Facebook group. So if you are not on that group, you need to get yourself over there because that's where I share all of this stuff plus a whole lot more. And that's where you can get your hands on all of my downloadable documents. They, you cannot find them anywhere else right now. So get yourself into the group um, and I'll put them in there. What I want you to do with those is I want you to sit down, print that document, and I want you to use it every day. I want you to write down today, I my you're going to set your intention. Today, I choose to do blah. You're going to be aware of your thoughts. You can even write down what you want to move your attention to. So if you've got something that you are just loving and that when you think about it, it makes you feel really good, write that down because that is going to be your go-to happy place um, to help you snap out of any negativity. Be very deliberate with your actions and choose to live a life of gratitude. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Um, I will hang around for just a little bit longer so that we can, I'm just going to check these, um, check all of these comments because they're coming at me uh, thick and fast. Um, thank you, Reza. She's saying, yes, we are all very blessed here. And I'm super grateful that you guys are here. I know it's half an hour out of your time uh, that you have to spend with me and I thoroughly uh, respect and uh you know, I'm grateful that you are here with me. So I want to make sure that I give you some um, some really actionable things that you can go away that will make a difference in your life. So thank you so much for being here. I will dial out. I'm going to be back here again my Friday, uh, which is Australia and New Zealand time. And, uh, you know, most of you for the rest of the world will be somewhere uh, like a I think it's a Thursday that you guys dial in elsewhere. So thanks for being here. Get yourself into the success secrets for business, family, and life. And just, you know, talk to us. Um, these are interactive shows. We want to know what's going on in your life so that we can help you build a better life, transform your life, your business, and, uh, you know, and your family. So thanks again for being here. Hi, Connor. I see that you've just jumped on. Andre, um, Siobhan. I see a bunch of you guys out there and I'm acknowledging that you are here and spending the time with me. So have an amazing day. Live your life unlocked and I will see you again on Friday. Have a great day. Bye.